Hey, gun people! Yeehaw! We got us a manhunt. We got a fugitive and FBI got ten thousand bucks wanting him. Woohoo! So I'm kind of uh, <clears throat> in in two different places on this because uh, this guy they're making him out to be this horrible, armed and dangerous guy because he sent a manifest that they won't release. I'd like to read what's in his manifest. But I guess what gets me is how the, I say idiot public gets behind this guy. They just believe what government says and everybody's like, oorah, let's go hunt this guy down. $10,000, everybody's calling in tips. The neighborhoods are collecting money to feed the police because the police are looking for him to keep him safe. And he, he hasn't done anything but sent a manifest to the president and they said, there's a video in here, I guess I, I, for some people who haven't read anything about it. So this guy sends a manifest to the president, he videotapes it, says he's going to take out some politicians, says it's time for a revolution. So that's my side that's kind of like, yeah, booyah, go boy. So I'm kind of, I'd like to see what he put in his manifest, though, about, you know, what his issues are. Uh, so, and somewhere they said he has a problem with religion. They didn't say what religion, um, but you know that that's yet to be seen. Uh, I'm I'm assuming they'd be calling him a racist if he said it was the Muslim religion. But um, since they aren't calling him a racist, maybe he wasn't after the Muslims. So I don't know what religion he's got a problem with. I don't know what his threats are. Nobody does because they aren't telling us. So they're saying he stole some guns, and they've got a. Uh, a video of him hitting here one of these guns. They're saying they got 300 tips. Uh, let's see. Here's a little news media where they give some of the info. Rock County manhunt that's spreading to other parts of the state tonight, all in search of 32-year-old Joseph Jakubowski. Jakubowski is accused of stealing more than a dozen rifles. For is accused. I like the way these two women sit in here and just totally toe the company line, make this guy out to be guilty, the bad guy, the government's great. The government's after him. I mean, the slant on this story, there's nothing about, hey, this guy has some valid complaints in his manifesto. We have a copy of it. We've made it available for people to read so you can reach your own conclusion. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's tell everybody what they should think and what we're being told by the government that we're supposed to tell everybody. And let's make the bad guy a good villain so everybody's against him without knowing anything about him. Yeah, he's, he's been arrested, I guess, 30 times for traffic violations. Woo, big criminal there. Man, CHP is like, yeah, see, look at us, we're great. It, it ain't CHP, it's somewhere in Wisconsin, I think. But anyway, uh, some state police who's ever writing him all these tickets are just feeling really good because they've written him a ticket 30 times and he's had 30 traffic complaints or whatever. So uh, let's hear what she has to say, I guess. Not much. From a Janesville gun shop and making threats to public officials in a 160-page manifesto. Making threats to public officials. You know what? Our public officials should be threatened. They need to be threatened with their damn jobs and with the, uh, destroying America and being terrorists and uh, bringing in open borders, destroying the damn country, lying to us. Hell, they ought to be threatened. They're freaking pieces of shit. Oh, shit. Rick's going to do his manifesto. He's on the list now. So mailed to President Trump. Now, possible sightings of him span southern Wisconsin. In Janesville this morning, Deputy... Remember, look at this. They're making it sound like possible sightings, and they're all going around. Every time they say possible sightings, and every time they say that they cleared a person, that person was probably taken down at gunpoint with 40 officers because they've got, I think, 150 officers working on catching this guy. And the FBI's put out a $10,000 reward. And they've got him listed as armed and dangerous. And you better call us because he's, he's going to kill everybody. Not that we've read that in his manifesto. Not that he's killed anybody yet. He hasn't hurt anybody yet. But man, if you listen to all his reports, this guy's public enemy number one. He's followed up on a tip of a man loading guns into his car near St. Mary's Church. That person... Ooh, guy loading guns in his car. Shit, that could have been me and cleared of any wrongdoing. Another scare, this one in Sun Prairie, that's where a Beth, the Bethlehem Lutheran Church canceled its weekend services after a man who matched Jakubowski's description asked some unusual questions of employees there. We canceled church because a guy asked unusual questions. 
and they're using this guy's name. Does anybody see planting the seed to where this guy, I, I mean, he's just getting crucified. <laughs> and so far, all we know is he melt a freaking manifesto that nobody's letting us read. And the government tells us that we should be scared of him and that they got all these resources and they're spending millions of dollars tracking and chasing a guy who so far, they said, maybe stole some guns and lit a car on fire. But I'm going to play a video, and I don't think it looks like him. I think it might be in here. saying today, though, that man was not Jakubowski. And now the latest lead, sending police to Lafayette County, where police in Darlington received reports of a man who matched Jakubowski's profile standing outside a Catholic church. Officers are still working to confirm that man's identity. We've got team coverage of the manhunt tonight. We begin with Ooh, Keely Arthur, who joins coverage. us with a breakdown of that day's Ooh, long there's two women telling us. What to be scared of? Search Keely, it's been a long week for law enforcement. Absolutely. More than 150 local, state, and federal officers are working. Wow. Local, state, and federal. Damn, we need to come up with another level of law enforcement agency so we could, like, have four agents. We could have local, state, federal, and national police officers. Yeah, we need national police because we just don't have enough government. Around the clock to catch Jakubowski, determined to get to him before he harms anyone. This all started on Tuesday when a 32-year-old broke into our... Okay, this guy doesn't look like him. Maybe it is. The guy who melted the thing has had facial hairs. I don't see facial hair on this guy. But the next picture... Getting gun store in Janesville where he is accused of stealing more than a dozen... This guy, <laughs> I know everybody's going to say, that's racist. He looks black to me. Jakubowski's white. This guy doesn't look like Jakubowski to me. Now, maybe it's because of the night camera and it's making him look dark because the camera's racist. But it doesn't look like him to me, but we'll see. Bells and firearms that same night. The camera goes silent here he for some reason. believed to have set that car you see right there on fire police. Wow, he set a car on fire. They don't tell us who owned the car, what the car was doing there, why he set it on fire, what he used to set it on fire, what his purpose for setting that on fire was. We don't know any of that. Ooh, the big, bad, dangerous man set a car on fire. Nobody was hurt. Nobody was in the car. Damn car looks like it's been sitting there for a while, but we don't need to know any of that. Rick, just believe us. We're the government. We're here to help. The guy's dangerous. Call in tips. We're offering money, and we're spending a lot of money, and you're in danger, and we've got to keep you safe, and you need to depend on the government. Jeez. Police have released this photo of it. Crews have conducted a number of raids in the Janesville area in the last couple of days. This shows one half. Man, any chance to break down doors, grab our automatic weapons that nobody else can have, grab all our military gear, dress up like we're in Afghanistan. Man, that's a good day for government. Yeah! At an abandoned home in town. Another took place at Jakubowski's house last night after a tip that he may have returned home. Neither of those raids, though, turned up any signs of Jakubowski. Officers say this search has been mentally and emotionally... Okay, we call this kind of the Congo line. These guys are kind of approaching okay for me. You got a gun on this side. This guy's got his pistol in the front. This guy's covering the left side. Uh, this guy's got the ram, so he doesn't have the gun. Uh, this guy's covering one side, and that guy's covering one side. So these guys' approach are kind of okay. This is a slow, methodical approach. A lot of times when teams like this go in, it's very fast, very aggressive. It's called a dynamic entry versus a deliberate entry. This is kind of an in-between dynamic, de dynamic and deliberate. Deliberate's more slow, methodical, uh, much safer. You're rounding corners, you're mirroring, you're doing things. Dynamic, rushing, total domination, massive force, get in fast, flashbangs. So these guys are kind of in between what I call a dynamic and deliberate uh, approach anyway. Taxing and appreciate. What, but is this, what the hell is that? Is this, are they expecting to be in there for a month and they need a water supply for a month? What the hell is this guy carrying on his back? Is that all the flashbangs, grenades, and freaking anti-law rocket in here? I mean, what, what is this big ass thing on his back? Rick, they got to look like the military so they look tough. Come on, we got all this neat gear. We got to use it. Went around to a number of businesses, uh, received donations from those businesses for food. 
I hate when businesses give donations for government. It just pisses me off. You are taxed out the butt all year. Every time you make money, sell things, buy things, you're taxed out the butt. And governments always run around, oh, can you donate so we can get a canine? Can you donate for this? Can You, you know what? It is not the people's responsibility to over-support government tenfold when all they do is squander and waste money bombing freaking other countries that we ain't got no business bombing, spend a million dollars, and now they want businesses to donate. Businesses are always your friend when they're donating and giving you money, but they're always the enemy when they're not paying enough taxes. Wake up, people. For the law enforcement officers and then brought that into them. That was a huge boost to the morale of these. Oh, we got to have a boost to morale. Investigators. Can't have a manhunt with, with disgruntled hunters. That have been working very hard on this case. Uh, appreciated far beyond, I think, what they could imagine. Oh, so Now, great. as a result of this manhunt, several schools went to a, into a soft lockdown or shut down completely last week. Oh, Similar my goodness. It's so scary. They week, shut down school. The guy hasn't hurt one person. Website, channel 3000.com. We have no idea what he said in the manifesto. He hasn't hurt one person. So this is the video of him kind of mailing his stuff. It just shows him kind of walking. 543. Hey, I like the guy because he ain't trying to hide. I mean, he's hiding now because they're they're trying to, you know, arrest him and chase him. But the guy put his name, his address, and he sent something to the president. I mean, without showing us the manifesto. So what if he said a few government agents need to be taken out? So what if he said, I mean, what happened to free speech? Oh, Rick, you free speech, you can't yell fire in a theater. Yeah, 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 I get it. But if a guy's just gruntled with the government and he sends a, 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 a they call it a manifesto because that sounds so egregious and, oh, it's just like Kowinski and, oh, oh, he's, he's a crazy guy. Only crazy people write manifestos. Other people just write letters and complain. But when you want to chase somebody and make him look bad, you call it a manifesto. But anyway... So he writes, the, he writes this letter, he addresses it, and he sends it. They won't show us. The government's hiding it. Government never tells us the truth. They're spending millions of dollars chasing this guy. They're making him out to be public enemy number one. And yet, we don't know nothing. But the government told us he's public enemy. And people are behind him. So, uh, that's probably the best picture we have of the guy. There it is, you see, it's getting shipped. Revolution. It's time for change. Hey, guy doesn't sound like he's crazy. Says a revolution, it's time for change. Hell, like I said, they'll be knocking down my door next. Oh, revolution. Time for change. <gasps> Public enemy number one, we've got a massive manhunt. Let. Oh, come on. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this turns out and uh, how the government hides their whole case against him and... When, when someone in the press or the public asks some off-the-wall crazy question, what exactly was in the manifesto? Oh, uh, it's top secret, only government eyes, only, uh, you know, we, if we tell you, we got to kill you, and uh, uh, come on. Come on, people. This guy ain't a bad guy yet. I mean, if he burnt a car, big freaking deal. Shit, there are more crime. People are getting killed in Chicago by the hundreds. This guy burned a car? Oh, but Ricky's white. Oh, yeah, I forgot the race factor. I forgot. Race factor. All right, we'll end that there.